So there's been some question recently by folks that I'm traveling with as to whether Lightroom is able to back your pictures up when you import them to a second hard drive, which is what I suggest to all my guests when they're traveling and importing their pictures. So I did some research this morning to see if we could make that happen easily. Because back when I used Lightroom, it was not very efficient. It was super simple, but it was not very efficient. And it is still the same as it was back when I used to use Lightroom. So let's go through the process and show you how Lightroom does this. So I have now opened up the Lightroom import window to go out and find the group of pictures that I want to add to Lightroom. So I'm going to click on this little group of images that I don't have in Lightroom and we're going to go through the whole process of how this works. It's fairly well laid out. It's going to be importing from the Macintosh HD. It's going to make a copy. So it's going to copy photos to the new location and add to catalog. These are in a separate folder that I don't want them to move them from. I want them to copy. And we've got an external hard drive that I'm copying these folders to. Now we go down into this panel and we see don't in sub import suspected duplicates and make a second copy to and it gives me an option to select another external hard drive. This is the Mylio Field SSD. So we're telling it to make a second copy over to that field hard drive. Now for this example, it is the same hard drive as the original catalog and the originals are going to go to, but we're going to put the originals in a specific folder and the copies are going to go into their own volume on the Mylio Field SSD and I believe Lightroom labels that as a backup. And again, this is just for a test. So normally I would be putting these on my Mac, but I don't want them on my Mac, so we're using this external hard drive. For it's going to drop it into a folder called South Africa Test. We're going to do it by date, and it's going to be a date format. So that's very nice and organized, and that's important. We're going to see how that pops up on my laptop when those get imported and dropped over onto the hard drive. So everything looks like it's done and ready to go. We're going to make sure that it's putting it in the right place. And here it is. It shows the South Africa Test subfolder that it's going to drop it into, and it shows the dated folder, which is what we have here, that those pictures are going to go into. And this is key, the main trip and the folder going into that trip by date. So everything looks like it's set up left to right, nice and organized, easy to find when you're looking for your pictures. Let's hit import. So I hit import. And so up it comes. It shows the South Africa folder that the dated folder is dropped into. Now we're going to go over to the hard drive and take a look at how it dropped those images into the backup. Let's click on the finder and we're going to go over to the Mylio Field SSD and here is the folder that is the backup of those images that were dropped into South Africa test. First, let's look at the South Africa test folder. See how nicely organized that is? 2021-0304. These are some old images, so it dated them by the old image uh, date that they came in on. Now we're going to go into the folder that has the second copy. And we'll see that there is no date. It's just jumbled up and dropped in there willy-nilly. But maybe it'll make a date on a second import. So let's do a second import. So we're going to go down here to import. So here's a group of pictures of our explorers on our Ireland trip. And I'm going to click this and tell it these are the images I want to import. I go back up here, Macintosh HD. This is where it's coming from. Arrow over. It's going to make a copy. We're going to go to Mylio Field SSD. Once again, we're going to look at all the options that we want to make sure happen as it imports. We don't want to import suspected duplicates. I always check that. We're going to make a second copy. This is going to go into that second copy so that we have duplicate originals. And we're going to drop them into the subfolder once again by date. We're going to make sure that we're going to go down here to the Mylio Field SSD, drop that down, and see what it, where it's going to put them. Now, this collection of images has a lot of pictures from the trip that I shot that were on different dates. So it's going to make a bunch of different folders. All right, see all these folders it's going to make? It's going to make a bunch of those, so let's import them. Now remember, we have the make a second copy to up here, and then the originals are going to go down here. So we're going to do import. And here they come. 
Now here they all line up under this South Africa test. Obviously these are from Ireland, but we're just doing this as a test. So here they are listed in really nice numerical order by the date that they were shot. You got 304, 406, 425, 427, 28, 29, 30, yada, yada, yada. So those are all very nicely organized. All right, and if we go over to this folder, let's do a show in Finder. It'll show us the South Africa folder that is all dated very nicely. You can tell what dates these pictures were shot on. They're all in, in a nice order. Something similar that you would want to see if you were doing a trip to South Africa. Now, the second copy went into this folder here. It's got 261 items. This is the Achilles heel of Lightroom that I just don't understand for backing up your pictures to another hard drive. Let's open this up and see the mess that's in here. I've got my bald eagle pictures from Montana. I've got all my Ireland pictures in here and none of them are put in a dated folder similar to how the originals went in. So yes, it is backing these up, but it's an absolute mess. And here are the folders inside South Africa, all based on these days. And you can imagine that if you ever had a big hiccup where you lost all of your originals and you had to now go back and figure out what days these were shot on, it would be a nightmare. So I personally never used the backup to a second drive with Lightroom because it did this. It basically opened the closet door and threw everything inside. Now you can make the argument that it's pretty simple to take this South Africa tour folder, create another folder over here on that external hard drive, South Africa backup, we open that folder, do a command A, select all, click copy, go over to the other window, paste, and back up all your pictures manually. That works, but that's an entire step that you don't have to even think about when you're using Mylio. So let's go over to Mylio real quick and show you how it works. So here I am in Mylio, and I've got all of my folders from South Africa 2022 labeled by the date that I imported them on. And when I look over here to my sync panel, I not only have these on my MacBook Pro, which is right here, you'll see all these originals coming up on my MacBook Pro. The green line, this little green squiggly line tells me that this folder, all the originals are in there. So let's start from the top folder. The green squiggly line down here on the right shows that those originals are on this machine. The next folder is on this machine. Next, next, next. And before we go through all these, I think you got the idea. If we look down here on Mylio Field SSD, that's the external hard drive that I connect to my laptop when I'm in the field. And you'll notice that all the lines are green. Furthest left line is thumbnails, the middle line is previews, and the last line are originals. So this entire drive has thumbnails, previews, and originals, and they all got there on their own. I didn't have to touch anything other than plug that hard drive in. As we go through these folders, you'll see, watch the right panel over there as these change, those green lines stay solid. The top one is wavy. And what does that mean? The top one is wavy because it is only holding these originals on my laptop temporarily. These will eventually go over to my iMac and over to my Mac Mini in Montana. Some of those originals already have gotten to my iMac and Mac Mini since I had my computer open on the internet while I've been staying here in South Africa. And Milio starts sending those pictures back to my machines in Montana. They're not going to beat me home because I have a lot of pictures and bandwidth here is not unbelievable, so they don't make it all the way home, but it's already started putting them over there. So that's how Mylio works, and it's really one of the important features of 
making your backup in the field seamless and effortless and something that Lightroom doesn't even come close to doing. People ask me, what are the reasons you use this instead of Lightroom? And that's one of the main reasons I use Mylio.